Greetings, everyone. I'm here to keep my promise of reviewing Jamaican content creators in the month of September. And I'm going to be featuring some of my most favorite ones. I usually don't feature a channel unless I've watched it for at least a year. I'll get a good perspective of what this channel is about. You just don't know everything from just what you see, but you kind of get a good idea or a good feeling for that family. And so today I'm going to feature the Stevens, the, the Stevens family. The channel is called Life with the Stevens, which is made up of Errol Stevens, Swaggy, a Russian lady that's married to a Jamaican man. And I believe Errol Stevens played for the Reggae Boys. They have two sons, um, Leo and Daniel, and now their newborn baby, Mila. I am going to tell you why I love, 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 love this channel. I watch people for different things. And for me, Errol Stevens is a person that I go to when I want real estate information or advice. He's a very young man, but a very brilliant young man. And, you know, he's raised the vibration as far as investment is concerned. The importance of looking down the road, looking at the bigger picture to um, escape poverty. And he shares a story about a gentleman who really took him aside and gave him good advice. Hence his first property or his first Airbnb. I think it's Fisherman's Point. And subsequently, another property in Portmore. And now they live in St. Anne. Listen, when you're smart with the way you spend your money, when you invest wisely, you really can escape the drudgery of a nine to five and i have no problems with nine to five because that's how most of us survive but if you're able to take that nine to five and to put aside something nowadays it's getting worse more difficult to do that but when you're able to be disciplined wow what an amazing thing you can do not just for yourself or your family so errol stevens family you know is enjoying the benefits of good financial decisions he has a book on amazon you can go there um finding freedom when i remember the accurate title i'll put it in the description so i'm going to encourage you if you guys don't know errol and his family to go and watch their channel because it's it's good quality they're focusing on building and uplifting and errol is showing that they are black men who are family oriented who will do what they must do to secure their family and to create a healthy environment for their children so of course swaggy is from russia it's a biracial um you know family blend and is it biracial i don't know if i'm using the right word but it's a couple where the ladies from Russia who currently live in Jamaica at the moment and her Jamaican husband. And let me tell you, I think Swaggy has gotten Jamaican citizenship, not because of a period of time when you need to apply for it, but she's earned it. Sometimes when I hear Swaggy speaking Patwa, I'm saying to myself, you gotta turn up your game because she has it, you know, she's just, blended in so well she fits into the jamaican landscape she obviously loves it and in another video i will feature her platform her own personal channel swaggy pandi island um i really like swaggy a lot i like her down to her you know attitude i like the fact that she's just feeling so comfortable in her space and she's embracing the Jamaican culture.
at the moment when I think of this, the Stevens family, I see so many things in there that I wish other young black men could emulate. The fact that you should look down the road. You know, a lot of time when um, black people or Jamaicans come into money, first they think about is cars and girls. And they don't realize that the very car that you're trying to drive off to show your wealth depreciates the moment you drive it off the lot. And having all these different girls and not understanding when you find one person and stick with that person, what you're doing is just creating balance, you're creating wealth, and you're reserving your health. Because you know men don't realize that when you, you're throwing the pecker all over the place, you're gonna eventually cause sickness in your body. And you're going to absorb negative energy because listen if you believe those you know intimate encounters are something you should take lightly you better think again so many men and women are walking around with monitoring spirits because of the relations they've had with people and absorb these negative energies that they can't escape now Arrow, if you're watching this, I'm going to say to you that, you know, when you concretize my viewership, it was the day when you came out to address the woman from Europe who wanted to do a collab with you and who came out and said some very disrespectful things. That woman is so disrespectful. I'm just not ready to deal with her. There are times when she makes her videos and it is loaded with sarcasms and innuendos woman is just a nasty piece of work um but she's able to mask her truth pretending like she's just being nice but you figured her out errol and you guys stayed clear of her you refuse to have any encounter with her and that's why i know you're a very smart person and you would have to be very smart to make some of the financial decisions that you're making and to be the type of father and type of husband that you are unashamed of being you know plugged in in raising your boys errol also you know runs a boys football club in his area and i think that is so important for those boys who don't have father figures imagine what it's like for them when they go to the club you know to learn as errol teaches them soccer and at the same time bonding with his own boys who are on the same team i love 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 this family i'm not going to drag it out too much i'm going to introduce you to them um you know and they have a patreon account so if you have any questions about investments or um, getting airbnbs how to run it and things like that he's a person to go to big up yourself swaggy i'm glad you had a safe delivery and can't wait to see the new content with baby Mila. I think she looks like both you and her daddy. I think she has her dad's nose. Mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to watching more as you share your life and share your amazing information and how we can lift up and you know escape poverty, making the right decisions for our family and so on and so forth. Bless up yourself. Stay blessed everyone.